Hi, welcome to AR Cad in Small Guru. This is Rajiv Lochan. Uh, this is in continuation with my earlier uh, screencast on developing add-ins for Autodesk Inventor using C Sharp Part Three. So this would be Part Four. In our earlier screencast, uh, we had just developed a form, which was uh, something like this. We just had a file name and submit button. Clicking on submit button, we'd uh, get you the file name of the open uh, assembly. Uh, we go a step further and uh, we introduce a tree view okay so we do that by going to command controls and there's one uh, component named tree view you drag this and uh, place it over here upon placing you adjust it dimension and uh, just redo it since we already have one so this is the tree view I had uh, already in, uh, inserted and I have renamed it to TRELIST okay and once that is done I go to components div and there I have something named as image list I drag this and put it here uh, it gets listed at the bottom you can see that uh, you have one something like image list one at the bottom so this gets listed so image list is basically a collection of images that we can use in our uh, project so I click on this uh, arrow and then I go to choose images I click on choose images and uh, I then go and browse all the images icons I want to add and these were the icons I had created uh, using a screen capture software I just add all of them and uh, I put it in a particular order and these are the indexes which it uh, which will be used in the uh, add-in to represent this particular images so 0 corresponds to an assembly file 1 corresponds to a part 2 corresponds to a say part that is grounded so these are some of the commonly used uh, constants so angle flush insert and mate so I just add them and then we go to our uh, tree view there's one small uh, arrow out here I click on this and uh, I need to change I need to select this image list one as its uh, default image list okay this is the image list one we have uh, basically coupled both of them so this is the part done for uh, in when uh, the design form design then we go up, go back to our uh, assembly tree CMD DLG that had earlier just shown as uh, the file name okay this was still the last part and uh, on uh, this click I add one more uh, method build tree okay that is discussed uh, further down and we need to add one more uh, namespace out here we'll be using system dot collections so that is also added here in assembly tree CMT DLG okay this build tree is uh, the code more or less copied from uh, standard uh, there's one example uh, standalone uh, server that gets shipped with uh, <coughs> inventor so you can uh, go through that code and you can try to reproduce the code here so I am more or less doing the same thing and uh, yeah this much is pretty much common get components is also there in it but only thing is I've added uh, one more factor like if it is grounded uh, it should have a different uh, image that is that has been added and uh, also I have added uh, something named as get constants these are the method I have added so get constants is uh, like it goes through each and every constraint and then it will uh, classify the constant types according to the constraint basically it compares whether it's an angle constraint or flush constraint or so on and so forth and then uh, yeah it just adds to the tree view so I've already built this you once it is built you right click and then uh, say click on uh, build solution since I've already built I will go to inventor and I need to restart inventor every time I build my 
<coughs> code so this is okay i'll start with an arm assembly so in our assembly panel we have our assembly tree we'll go to assembly tree and clicking on this we get a form i hit uh, submit so basically it gets us the file name like it had done earlier then it also gets us all the parts that are there along with the constants that are associated so you can check out like i have this pivot bushing so it has made 2 and made 2 and made 7 so here so we also have this made 2 and made 7 so basically almost all of this has been replicated here so i'll just close this i'll uh, open our engine assembly this is again one of my assembly i click on assembly tree i click on submit so basically it builds tree now so you can see that uh, piston which is here has already uh, has also been added to this which is of assembly type and you can see that everything is uh, replicated okay this is uh, a step good step forward and uh, coming steps probably we could uh, see what all can be done with these constants and let's play around thanks for watching